All right, I'm leaving the Pola de Sierra Pilgrim's Hostel. By far the last one out again today. Um, it's 20 till 9. And I think I decided on a plan. I'm going to uh, I'm going to do the 17 kilometers to Oviedo. And then I'm going to get on a bus and jump two stages to Tienos. I think I'm saying that right. And that will put me at just where I need to be to, uh, to finish this thing in Santiago uh, on the 26th, my birthday no less. So, yeah, let's get on it. So I am now in Oviedo, and this uh, Camino goes over this medieval bridge. It was built in the 4th and 5th centuries, and then they say rebuilt in the 15th century. So it started off in Roman times. But... Uh, yeah, I'm going to get to the city, and then I think the bus station is just north of there. Okay, I finally made it to the beginning of the Primitivo. Uh, and here's that, uh, here's that cathedral that I saw on the cruise. It's a little different uh, this weekend. They got some kind of big festival going on, so the plaza is all piled up with people. And uh, some kind of reenactment getting ready to happen here. Okay, so they have some kind of a road race here going on too. Must be a marathon because we're at the four hour mark. I'm on what they call the Calle Gascona or the Cider Boulevard since uh, that apple cider is very famous in Asturias, the uh, state here. And there's little cafes here just all up and down. All right, I'm in Teneo, and it's a it's a mountain town. Pretty good view. It is eight o'clock a.m., and uh, I am leaving Teneo. A little bit of a stress test yesterday. I uh, I think for now on, definitely got to have reservations. So. I got the last bunk in this last alberque in Teneo. So, uh, I, last night I made a reservation for the next stop, and I'm, I'm going to try to strictly follow the schedule at stingynomads.com. Um, so, it's a long day today, and I think it's a hard day. 17.3, I think, over 17 miles. Uh, so, I met a couple, a German couple. Christian and Lena, very nice, and they gave me some good advice and stuff. They've done a lot of Caminos, and uh, I just, I, you know, I booked the same Albuquerque that they're going to be in tonight, so I'll see them again. Um, what else? That's about it. You can maybe tell. It's just now getting to be sunrise. I think sunrise was 8.05 this morning, so I'm on my way. All right. There's quite a bit of this stuff. Much appreciated to be walking on dirt. Not a whole lot of road walking here, so it's nice. There's an alternative path uh, to the north of this. It's called the uh, Hospital, the Hospital route. I think some people call it the high route. Uh, I'm taking the low route because I can't, it's 24 kilometers just to do the high route before you come to another Alberque, so I'll go halfway on this lower route and stay in uh, La, po La Polo something. That's where I'm staying tonight at reservation. Hey, now we're talking. Let's bring it on. Note to self, if I do the Camino del Norte again, leave the trekking poles at home again. If I do the Primitivo again, bring the trekking poles. Well, folks, it is uh, 12 after 9, and I'm just now leaving this little town of Pola, Pola something. Um, the reason is because I was really sick yesterday. Tried to eat with uh, some friends and just became really nauseous. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd been struggling with Montezuma's Revenge a little bit. 
I mean, it wasn't what I would call debilitating, but um, I went to bed after eating, uh, and I couldn't finish my hamburger, and uh, immediately just had fever and chills and sweating, and the fever broke last night, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I've been pukey this morning, so... And also, I needed to buy some more water, so I had to wait until 9 o'clock for a grocery store to open so I could buy a bottle of water. And they only have a half a liter and then one and a half liter, and I wanted a one liter. But uh, I'm going to try to get by today with just uh, uh, two half liter bottles. And um, since it's going to be rainy today, I can probably do that. Because um, the water source, the next water source up here is out of, out of service, according to the, to the hostel manager. Hostel last night was really good. Uh, it was a very nice hostel. So, I'm on my way. Bye. All right, we had a short road walk to get out of town. Now, fortunately, we're back on a, a, a dirt, rocky path. I should mention that the first half of this, this is only a 14 mile day, a little over 14. Um, the first half, though, is up. There's like a seven to 800 meter elevation gain in the first half. And uh, this is supposed to be a difficult section, so it'll test my climbing legs, especially considering, you know, I've been sick. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, I, uh, I'm not too worried about the time. I, I went ahead and pre-booked an alberca for tonight, and it looks like from now on, I'm going to have to book an alberca because uh, shortly after I booked... Mine, all the rooms in this next town are full. Uh, so I even booked, last night I did some research ahead and I pre-booked for the next night. And uh, also started working backwards from Santiago and booking there. So I booked my stay in Santiago because they're filling up fast pretty soon you know, in a few days. I'll merge with the French way and other paths also. And it's going to be a sea of people competing for the hostels. So I need to finish reserving those rooms tonight. And I'm, I'm hurting already. Whew. They have the strangest slugs here. I mean, look at that. That is weird. Try to get an idea of the size of this thing. And it's a lot longer than my index finger. Uh, and there's one, another weird one, this bright orange. We actually went above tree line and just across the road. And uh, you can kind of see how barren it is up here. And it is so cold. It rained. Uh, and man, it is cold. I got everything on, on except my puffy because it's buried in the bottom of my pack. But I got to get down in the trees and stop this wind and I'll be all right. But man, it's all downhill now, I think. That uphill climb was awful. Man. Uh, yeah, it was like uh, climbing up the presidentials. But uh, I only got half, one half of a bottle of water left. So 0.25 liters. But as long as it's downhill, I'll be all right. Alright guys, this gives you a little bit of a taste. It's foggy. 